Welcome, this is the RPS Project. I'm Richard and today I'm having a look at the CD4040 or the 74HC4040 um, whichever one you've got. It is a 12 stage binary ripple counter. The one I've got is a Fairchild but who made it anyway? Um, so let's have a look at the pinouts and uh, see what we've got on the whiteboard. Now it's a 16 pin IC dip package, well at least that's the one I've got. You can get it in other packages. Uh, with the maximum supply voltage of 5 volts, it's not, it's actually 7 volts, but um, it said typically using 5 volts. The uh, pinout, you've got the main, I've actually drawn it here for your pinouts for your outputs. So that's the pin, that's a corresponding output. Um, master reset on 11, clock pulse on number 10, ground is 8 and your clock pulse on this is from high to low transition so that's the way you need to set it up when you uh, or be aware of that once you uh, set up your uh, IC and the master reset if you leave it floating like I did when I first tried setting it up it didn't work very well a bit random so again I've tied it down to ground by using this um, resistor and capacitor setup and then um, obviously it's a plus voltage to reset. Not much else to it other than that. You just um, put your input in, take your outputs to wherever you want them to go to. I'm using LEDs, so that looks fine to me. So uh, let's have a look at the data sheet and see if that's got any more information for us. So here we have the data sheet for the uh, 4040, the 74HC4040. There is a T version. Uh, it is a 12 stage binary ripple counter with clock input, an override and asynchronous master reset and 12 parallel outputs Q0 to Q11. The counter advances on the high to low transition. A high on the master reset clears all the count stages and forces the outputs low. Very nice. Input levels. It's a CMOS level for the HC version. The HCT is a TTL. Uh, can be used for frequency dividing circuits, time delay circuits and control circuits. So uh, quite a bit of usage in there. Functional diagram gives you the output stages for the uh, pinouts. Quite a lot of chopping around there. It's never, well, I never put it in equal stages. You know, Q0 is pin 1 and then Q1 it's been to be nice but they never do um, block diagram for the for the logic just a quick overview basically of what it's doing on the inside pinning out pin out uh, for the different uh, types of IC package you can get so I'll look down for the uh, maximum values so have a find that oh, there's the timing diagram Obviously, low to high to low increments is uh, forces the clock output. Um, every other clock output for Q1 and every two for clock for Q1 and so on all the way. Now, supply voltage 0 0.5 minus 0 0.5 volts to 7 volts. Um, Input clamping current 20 milliamps, output clamping current 20 milliamps, and the output current saying here if the uh, voltage VCC is greater than 0.5 volts, it's going to be 25 milliamps. So it's a uh, low current, not going to do anything to damage that. I wouldn't have thought. I suppose in a high input current, if you uh, don't have any regulators or anything on the input, you could fry the chip. So recommended uh, operating conditions on the HC4040, we've got 5 volt typical on the supply voltage. Input voltage, well it doesn't say there, I presume that must be the input on the clock, is it? Not really sure. Ambient temperature, minus 40 degrees all the way up to 125 degrees, so it worked in quite warm conditions I suppose. And static characteristics. Anyway, you can look through a data sheet to your heart's content. I think it's time to go and have a look at the actual unit. 
So here we have the uh, 4040 all set up. I'm using 3.3 volts on a supply for this uh, IC. It says 5 volts, but I found that 3.3 works just fine. And the uh, clock input is from the XR2206 function IC, which I quite like to use. Looks a bit like spaghetti, but should work fine. So i um, got reset button over here. And I've got resistor on the first LED because I wasn't sure whether I was going to need resistors, resistor droppers before the LEDs. But actually, I don't need to. It's um, it's CMOS logic level I see, so it's not really going to harm it. But I've left that resistor in. So uh, let's turn it on and have a look. I'll uh, turn the IC on first, the 4040. Just hit reset. It comes on a bit random. I'll turn the uh, function generator on. So let's just hit reset and get it starting from zero. And let's uh, turn the speed up on that. You can see it working just fine, counting perfectly fine. And now we're motoring on that. Looks great. I wonder if I can get it to um, show the transition between all being on to the next point where it, it recycles back around to the start. If I can get and slow this down at the right point. So moving quite fast, well let's get that one on and we're nearly there just a few more clock cycles and there you go but um, yeah that's working perfectly fine no troubles there what I'm going to do now actually is I'm going to take the uh, CD4017, so the, and put it in this circuit, so I'm going to have the 2206 as the input into this, and then the output, the carry out from this, as the input into the 4040. So I can actually slow it down a bit more and have a look at the, uh, at the clock cycles. So let's get on and do that. So let's have a look at this uh, high to low transition. Well, you can see I've got it all set up here now. The 4017, the 4040, my function generator unit, the 2206. Now the input for the 4017 is the opposite to the 4040. I believe the clock for the for the 4017 is a low to high transition, and the 4040 is a high to low transition, and I can see that. From the way that the carry out is set up on the uh, 4017. Let me just reset this so I can get back to the beginning. You see when it comes on, the uh, do that. When it this starts at its sequence, Q0, output zero, goes through to four and it's on the high, and then when it at five it transitions to low. So we can see that there, it goes off on the low, and we can see it's opposite here on the 4040. So we can see as it goes low, it transitions to its next stage, only when it goes low. So that really shows it up quite well on here. So let's turn the speed up and um, see, how it can, uh, see how it goes, see how it looks. It's brilliant to me. What else can I say? Now I might turn the light off so we can see the LEDs a bit better and um, just let it go on its way for a little while. So there you go, the CD4040, a 12 stage binary ripple counter. Seems to be working just fine. I got it working quite well with the uh, 4017 as its input and it's still sat there merrily counting away or clocking away on the bench there. Anyway, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up, subscribe, and all comments are welcome. See you next time.